Hello and welcome again to Nomad's World Minecraft. I'm Nomad and today we are taking a quick look at the finished automatic furnace system. I got four of them in here and uh, oh, I keep looking in that one. Got a little stone that I had to make to make some repeaters. Put that over here. Let's empty our inventory a little bit. I'm gonna go over and look at the completed egg farm. Nothing else goes in there. This goes here. Took me a little bit to get the egg farm to actually be automatic, but got it working. I had to use some repeaters, which I'll show you, and uh, working pretty good. I just checked it. It's not laggy at all, at least not yet. If I let it go too long, though, it'll be like a serious amount of uh, in there serious amount of lag but so far not a problem uh, let's see let's put this here it's like trying to find where everything goes still getting used to this new layout of my um, storage area it's gonna take a little while uh, let's see, food goes in there. We'll put these eggs. Oh, no, that's not food. Food goes there. All right. Next, we need. Let's make some swords. We can also unload some of these tools. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. I don't really need the pickaxe, but we'll keep that there and there we go all right we are set we're gonna go kill some chickens so that's the automatic furnace uh, still need to replant that come over here Hear all that chicken? Woohoo! So I redid this a little bit. I've got some redstone running underneath here, going to a couple dispensers, which I'll show you. Uh, let's turn it off for a second. So, got some repeater. Uh, the repeaters create this timer circuit. The signal goes around. Uh, each of these are set to four ticks. And as a signal comes around, it, sig it sends a signal along over to the dispensers, which activates the dispensers and dispenses an egg out of each. Then the signal continues around. And it just basically, this is my clock. I'm probably going to extend this out this way one more. And maybe that way one more. That'll add uh, one, two, three, about three more repeaters, which will add a little more delay. Uh, so far, it's been about eight hours, so I got quite a bit of chickens going. So um, we'll leave the redstone off for, for the moment. I haven't added any additional chickens in there. Uh, let's take a look at our egg situation. Ooh, it's empty. Okay. So we'll probably add a few chicks in there, bump up the egg production. But as you can see, lots and lots of eggs, or chickens. And there are some eggs down in here. I'll pick some of them up. <laughs> I 
Let's go put these back in the system. Let's kill these guys. Feathers. I need lots of feathers. All right. Eggs. All right. Now we go back in here. I should probably make a system where I can add the eggs back into the system from the side. Let's see, is more eggs? Lots of eggs. Yep. All right, let's let's start killing. All right, so I'm uh, going to turn that into a little time lapse. Uh, as you could probably see, I'm gonna, that's going to be an attempt right there. And uh, this is what we got left on chickens. Um, let's see if we can get these guys to come over here. That's it, guys. Go over there and jump into the... No, 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 no. Okay, let's see if we can get some... Grab some seed. And see if that works. They are baby chicks, so it may not work. Cool. All right, guys. Follow me. There you go. Up and in. Close that so they don't have anywhere to go. Come on up here, guys. Come on, buddy. In you go. You know you want in there. Get on in there. Cool. All right, a few more chicks. Continue laying eggs. Uh, let's see if there's any left. Okay. Close that up. Close that up. Oh, so let's explain this. So, basically I got two dispensers here. That way it's dispensing two eggs at the same time. Behind this is the chest. I got, um, on each side of the chest, uh, so they're underneath the chest because it's a double, I've got two hoppers, so that's bringing out the eggs from the chest, and one side is dispensing into this one, the other side is dispensing into this one. So that way I get two dispensers going at the same time. Then I've got redstone connected up to these, which has the connected to the timer system, which I'll get going again. And that causes it every time that the pulse comes through here it dispenses an egg out of each uh, I don't remember what the uh, them how often what the percentage is from the eggs 
that turn into baby chicks, but uh, it'll shoot them against this wall here, break, they drop down. The reason I've got it down one is if I had them down here on the floor, the eggs would dispense and hit other chickens. So by having it up above the chickens, it prevents these chickens down here from taking damage from the flying eggs. So um, later I'll probably add a little, I'll try to get some kind of um, automated killing system going. Uh, there is one that's shown on YouTube with using lava, a dispenser with lava, that there's a little trick with that. And uh, the only problem I was having with it was I wasn't getting any loot. I wasn't getting any chickens. I wasn't getting any feathers. It just wasn't working on the Bedrock Edition. So I am foregoing that for now. Uh, let's put redstone, dirt. We'll get this thing going again. Oh, you know what? I need my torch to get to reactivate this okay I'll go get that um, let's put the eggs back in here and hopefully we'll get a little more balance like I said I'm probably gonna extend it a little bit because uh, it is using up more eggs fast the it's using the eggs faster than it can produce the chickens uh, that may not be a bad thing if I had if if I had not done that um, if I'd done it where it was producing more eggs then I probably would have been really leggy right there um, let's see oh yeah torch that way we can reactivate this and I'll show you how to activate it but keep it uh, if now the way this works is I just place the torch right here okay that activates this causing a signal to go around uh, actually go this way okay now I immediately remove the torch because if I don't I get this one continuous stream that doesn't stop and then when I take away the torch it still won't shut off okay because it's got a signal going through and it's just continuous so take the redstone out that stops the signal because it needs to go on and off alright if it if it was continuously on the dispensers would only dispense once and then it would be in continuous on mode and it wouldn't dispense any further it's got to go on and off it's got to switch so I put the that there put that there and now I've got a signal that's going around just like that alright and just for the sake of keeping chickens out of there and mobs I just close that up and I wanted to I need to close that off too up there um, let's do let's grab a dirt from there I'm going to need two. I oh, know I won't put it right there. Those chickens are fine. Alright, so yeah, the automatic killing system uses a, uh, a layout kind of like this. Uh, it has the hopper with a chest so that it, you can collect any goods. But it has the chickens up on a little slab that raises it up one. Then there's a dispenser that puts lava where that dirt block is and because the chickens are up a little bit the, the adult chickens would have their head in lava the baby chicks would be down here and would be fine so you have a dispenser that puts the eggs in here when they turn into adults their heads end up in the lava and 
you can also have the lava turn on and off occasionally so that it collects but uh, like I said I haven't been able to get it to work properly it uh, kills the chickens just fine the baby chicks stay alive but the all the uh, chicken and the feathers get burned up so I got like out of like 50 or so chickens that it killed I got like one piece of chicken and a couple of feathers I think it was so yeah that that's not working so back over here we're gonna get some chicken going let's move that there All right, and the next thing we need to do, we're going to have to do some farming for wood so that I have enough I'm going to fill these chests with charcoal. I put 40 chickens and there we go working like a charm all right next thing we need some sticks we'll do two stacks and I need my flint there's some I've got one full stack of flint all right so there are some arrows. Nice. And if you didn't see that, arrows. Oh, I have more. Oh, okay. I get it. So one of each gives you four feathers. Cool. All right. Or four arrows. So I've got extra flint left over. So it takes a feather, it takes a stick, and a flint to make four feathers. We only need one stack. Um, so we'll take, let's put the feathers in here, and the flint, and put the redstone back, put this in here, put the sticks back in, let's put, uh, the extra sword. We got an extra sword now. And we need our tools. Handy dandy tools. And we're going to need the axes. Um, let's see. We actually don't need the shovels or the pickaxe at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll we'll do some Wood chopping. Uh, let's see. Put the arrows in there. Extra arrows. And extra seeds. Alright. So while that's working on that, I'm going to go chop some wood.
All right. So we got eat real quick here. We got ourselves five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of wood. That's pretty good. We'll put these into the furnace and get them cooking up to make some more charcoal. And uh, that'll be basically two stacks in each. And that way we'll have some a decent amount of Oh, that's right. I put, okay. I was like, why is there still raw chicken in there? Ah, I got some chicken. All right. So, next thing we need to do, grab some more. Let's, let's divide this by four. And then all right. So when we come back. We should have more chicken and a bunch of charcoal, almost eight stacks worth. Cool. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, please be sure to comment, give me a subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.